this small tutorial shows how to uh, create a drop down list from a base table with some uh, selectable ele elements in an ASP.NET Core MVC uh, view. So first we go to our uh, project. Now this is a pro German project, so there are some texts in German, but this wouldn't matter. I have first here on the left side my database. This is my local da da database and I have here the project is called Article Web. We have a table which is called uh, Articles. Then two base tables, a base table, a TBL base, product groups, Produktgruppen. So this is, if I load that, the table itself has an ID field, ID a base product group and a, t a text field product groups in this case or text or title, short text and the stuff is inside there there is a, a running number field so this is from one to six the idea and there's a product group name so this is uh, tools and all that stuff um, when we want to when I want to show um, all those um, on a view complex data is uh, mixed from mixed with the uh, article itself with a table and a drop down so these are mixed data and mixed data are always uh, shown in a view model so first I have to create a uh, under view models the under the folder view models if you don't have it uh, create a new folder view models add a new item a class and call this class in my case I uh, renamed it view model uh, article new so because this should run under the action controller article front slash new and in this uh, case I entered first uh, the base data model which is in my case model article so this is uh, my running data it's always uh, I always name it with an underscore and then uh, model underscore running data so this is model underscore article the, the stuff itself is called it's a running article with a get set and I have inside here uh, the list uh, which comes into the drop down list so this is product groups it's a enumerable and a model base um, model with base product groups uh, entries so this is base data that's why I always have this uh, base underscore uh, it's a leading leading um, text and then we have product groups and a get set uh, if you don't like enumerable this is uh, equal to list and inside there is the type which is this product groups so you have to create this one then you have a complex uh, combined model which we may uh, hand over to from the controller to the view now we go to the controller in this case it's article controller and inside the article controller we have we create a new method which is called i action result new in uh, asp.net core you always have the i action result as action defined and um, in the uh, controller itself you always need this leading stuff which is uh, when we open this one we bind the database to our controller so this is in the context means this is the database <coughs> now we go to the new action method um, in the action method we need an enumerable of this type we call it in this case let's say drop down list or product groups 
and we take from the context the table uh, table base uh, product groups to list and then we create a view model of the stuff of the view bag which we want to give into the data we say view models view model article new and inside those brackets curly brackets we set uh, the product group is my running data here my running list and then we hand it over as a an, as an argument into the view now we come to the view inside views we have the new view as cshtml and there we uh, hand over the model first say okay the data behind this uh, view is article web views view model article new so this is the project my project article models and this is my combined uh, data in there under the first block under the first uh, stuff we have nothing this is em empty we didn't define it uh, but still the constructor is there so is this article has the art model article has go to definition still has uh, all the stuff inside there so this is of type class model article and now then we have uh, the enumerable and we'll, we will load it in our new that's why we define it here article still the first one is empty the second one is loaded with the list in runtime and then we say we follow all that stuff and then we create a select field and under select in asp core we define select and then asp4 and under asp4 this is um, the the field where the data are uh, um, bound to so this is uh, we uh, we refer to the id based product groups in this case and we have uh, we load the list with some uh, stuff this is the loading and we have their new selection list with a razor um, uh, sign there so this is razor select new list create as new list uh, from select list from our model where we are coming from take the product groups and then this is the uh, bound field so this is uh, usually the uh, the first uh, column a zero column which is not visible and then there are the following columns the visible columns in this case it's product groups and there's the final uh, the closing tag and the opening tag and we have here the asp4 as microsoft asp net core mvc view features this is different from the mvc5 and then we have to run it just run it and you will see data there now we run it local on our local iis we say article this is my article controller then we say new is my action now my action is loaded this is all the previous stuff and then we have here our select uh, block and as you see with the with this tag when we go click on there so the label is also click active when we click there the focus jumps in there so this is because we have the label field there and inside uh, select we have the class form control For class form control means uh, it takes that uh, cascaded style sheets CSS from the um, where is it CSS side for here from the bootstrap so inside the bootstrap we have uh, the cascaded style sheets and it takes that stuff from there so this is this uh, little blue uh, border around it when, we, when it gets the focus